It happened on the 13th of July, and I found out on the 16th. I mean, it was one of those things that just, it's really, really hard. I met Specialist Steele July of about 2009. I was like, you look like a baby. How old are you? And he's like, Sergeant, I'm 17. You know, well, I'm 18. I was like, did your mom have to sign papers for you to come in the Army? He's like, yeah. I mean, he was like a son to me. I mean, he just latched on to me. Well, while we were in Iraq, we put together a PSD team. Um, uh, personal security detail for the colonel. So all the soldiers wanted to be on that because that was like a high prestigious thing to be on. So he tried out for it and he ended up being one of the MRAP gunners. But while out on the mission something happened, they got attacked and he ended up hitting his head at some point in time. He was like, oh, you know, it's just a little head injury, you know, I'm fine. He didn't want to be sent home. He was, I don't want to go, I want to stay out here with my battle buddies. I don't want to leave. So he just sucked it up and drove on. He got treatment and it just went from there. We have rules about drinking for a reason because you're underage, you're not able to handle the responsibility. That's why we have rules about things like that. But his peers just basically gave it to him. He began to self-medicate, and being that he wasn't even 21 yet, um, alcohol, and it went from alcohol to drugs. Um, he basically came up positive on a urinalysis, and that's when the downward spiral really started. I would check his Facebook, send him a message here and there, call him, but I basically stayed in contact with him. He sent so many f signals and flags and warning signs up. He wanted help. All his Facebook postings was like, hey, I'm at the end of my rope, you know, somebody give me a reason to live. And I would see things like that and I'd call him and I was like, well, dude, what are you doing? Why are you posting things like that? Then he disappeared for a while. I mean, his mom, his dad, he wasn't posting anything on Facebook. He wasn't answering his cell phone. He just dropped off the face of the earth for a while. And then about May, he showed back up. His parents got back in contact with him. He was doing a little bit better. And then in July, he killed himself. All soldiers have responsibility to each other, to look left and right and take care of your battle buddy. That's the big thing we push now, is take care of your battle buddy. And his battle buddies failed him because they allowed him access to alcohol. They allowed him access to drugs. Someone, he didn't just go out there and do it on his own. They were like, hey man, take this, it'll help you sleep. And that's just when things just started going horribly wrong.